Now we'll move on to talk about the physical properties of halogen derivatives. The first property we're interested in is boiling point. In general, recall that the boiling point of simple molecular compounds like halogen derivatives depends on the intermolecular forces present between the molecules. There are three types of interactions, ID-ID, PD-PD, and hydrogen bonding. In the case of halogenyl alkanes, they experience both ID-ID interactions and PD-PD interactions, but cannot form hydrogen bonds. Comparing an alkane and a halogen alkane with the same carbon chain length, containing the same number of carbons, the halogenyl alkane will have a higher boiling point for two major reasons. Firstly, alkanes and halogenyl alkanes both experience ID-ID interactions. But the halogenyl alkane has a larger electron cloud that can be distorted more easily due to the larger halogen atom and thus experiences a stronger ID-ID force. Secondly, on top of this, Halogenyl alkanes also experience PD-PD forces that alkanes do not, as the CX bond is polar. Comparing the boiling points of different halogenyl alkanes, similar reasoning also applies. For compounds of the same alkyl groups, meaning they have the same number, of N, number and arrangement of carbon atoms, the boiling point increases with increasing atomic size of the halogen attached. Going from fluorine compounds with lowest boiling point, to chlorine, bromine, then iodine. This can be explained by ID-ID interactions, which increase with larger electron cloud size of halogen atoms. Although the compounds of larger halogen have less polar CX bonds, ID-ID factors are more important in affecting boiling points. For compounds of the same halogen atom present, the boiling points generally increase with increasing length of the alkyl group. With increasing mass and length of the alkyl group, the size of the electron cloud also increases. This makes it more easily distorted and increases the molecular ID-ID interactions and raises the boiling point.